um, for this problem. Now we're provided the hypotenuse, and we want to find the leg. So, Devin, when you had the 45, 45, 90 triangle, what we talked about was if these two were x's, to find the hypotenuse, we had to multiply by the what? Uh, square, root. square root of? Thank you, Caleb. Raise your hand next time, and I'll get you. But yeah, the square root of 2. If you have a 45, 45, 90 triangle, the two legs are exactly the same. And then to find the hypotenuse, to find the hypotenuse, you multiply by the square root of 2. OK? Do you understand that? Do you understand that? I know, no. Do the same. Do you understand that? OK. So you multiply by x times the square root of 2. However, we have a problem here because we're not looking for the hypotenuse. We're now looking for the leg. So we got to work backwards. So instead of going from the leg to the hypotenuse, where you multiply by the square root of 2, we're now at the hypotenuse, and we got to go backwards to the leg. So by going backwards, instead of multiplying by the square root of 2, we're now going to have to divide by the square root of 2. So this will be 88 divided by the square root of 2. Well, actually, put over here. All right. Now, we haven't spent a lot of time with this, and we'll get more into this. But to, final, to write our, our answer, this, is, this would be it. But we also like to rationalize our denominator, which would be to multiply by the square root of 2 on the top and the bottom. So our final answer will look like that. But you just notice that these are exactly the same. This is just written in a different format. The reason why we multiply by the square root of 2 on the top and bottom is that it eliminates the square root in your denominator. Okay.